<laughs> what are you talking about tomorrow? Ah, oh, well, I'm, I'm talking a little bit about myself and how I came to be where I am today, but, but also more broadly about women and work-life balance, why it's important to men that they have a, a family life as well as a, as a business life, and also a little bit about women across the world and the, and the problems that they're having. How do you think in the legal community, is it any different or the same as other places? Oh, God. Well, one of the things I always say, because one of my specialties as a lawyer is employment law. You know, and I'm very good, and lawyers are very good at telling everybody else how they should do things. You know, don't discriminate, don't act unfairly, all the other things. And when you look at actually how we run our own businesses, we're not always practicing what we preach. How are things different in the U.K. versus the way law firms are here? Well, one of the things I've noticed is that you in America go for these ridiculously long names, if I may say so. In, in, in the UK now, we have all our firms have very fairly short names. And my, my chambers, for example, is called Matrix, which isn't anyone's name at all. And, uh, and we have other, uh, the, the law firms, we're talking about Linklaters or Freshfields. And in America, I just wonder how you get all those names on the notepaper. Well, actually, in the United States, they're shortening them too. Have you ever practiced over here? Um, not, not over here. I've practiced in Bermuda. I've practiced in Malaysia, and I've practiced, I'm just about to go to Bangladesh. Uh, lots of the Commonwealth countries, because, of course, because of the traditional links, uh, I, can, I, I can get admitted to, to those bars. It's a bit more difficult to get admitted to the bar in America. <laughs> How much would you say legal marketing is a profession in uh, the U.K. versus what it's becoming here? I think uh, we, we have two things. Uh, as I'm going to say tomorrow... In my profession, the bar, until the 1990s, we weren't allowed to advertise at all. Still less were we allowed, because solicitors are our main clients, they bring us the business. And at one time, it was professional misconduct for a barrister to go to a solicitor's office. The solicitor always had to visit us, and we weren't, we weren't encouraged to socialize. So we've moved from that to, a, to now an era where you know, we do advertise, uh, we put on conferences, and we promote ourselves a lot more. So I think that's, uh, that's something I think in America you've been doing for some time. Now, you're a barrister, I suppose. How much? Tell you what a barrister is? No, I know. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, well go, ahead, go ahead. As I said, you know, a barrister is a, is a trial lawyer, so I'm essentially an advocate. And I'm self-employed. We don't have partnerships as barristers. We share our expenses, but not our receipts. Unlike the solicitors who are in partnership, just like the American law firm is in partnership. Can you look back on your career and think about anything that you've done that you would say, hey, this was marketing and it had some positive effect for you? Well, I'm not sure about a positive effect, but of course, once my husband became leader of the Labour Party and then Prime Minister, that had an interesting effect on my practice from a, from a marketing point of view, because on one hand, I was very well known, uh, and a lot of my cases attracted a lot of publicity. Now, for some clients, that was fantastic. But then there are lots of other clients who really wouldn't want publicity for their cases. So to that extent, that was also a negative as well. Well, I would think getting one's husband to be prime minister is probably a pretty clever marketing technique. It's probably one that won't work for many people, though. <laughs> so I wouldn't necessarily say it would be my primary aim is, is if I was marketing myself as a lawyer. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. We're really excited to have you here and are looking forward to your speech tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it, too, and sharing some ideas. And I know we're going to have some questions, so that will be fun, too. Thank you.